<laughs> you guys are awesome. It's phlegm day, my, my dudes. dudes. Ah! <laughs> Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. We are back at the French equation exercises, and as always, we are going to dive right in. So let's go ahead and get started. We are dealing with this thing right here. And it might not be obvious, but this thing right here is just a non-homogeneous, at the moment, non-linear differential equation. We are going to turn it into a linear differential equation. But how are we going to do this? Well, we are going to treat this thing like it's a Bernoulli differential equation. What does that mean exactly? We are going to multiply both sides by one, mi uh, one minus negative three, because negative three is our n. You can rewrite this as x times y to the negative third power. Watch the other videos, links in the description, <laughs> or just go through the whole playlist. And then times y to the neg negative nth power, which would be just three. So this thing evaluates to four times y to the third power. And now just multiplying both sides by it. And then we came already pretty far, to be honest. So on the one hand, we have four times y to the third power dy dx plus, and now we have four times y to the fourth power times x being equal to, okay, this cancels out and we have four times x. So that was already quite easy. And our theorem for Bernoulli differential equation states that this first term right here is now nothing but dy to the fourth power dx. And this is already quite cool because we can say um, let t be equal to y to the fourth power and we can rewrite this whole thing right here equivalently where function is uh, where t is a function of x as dt dx plus four times t times x being equal to four times x. So that's already quite cool and you see this thing right here is now just a non-homogeneous ordinary differential equation, a linear one at that, and we are going to solve it by our regular methods. So at first I would like to solve for the complementary, complementary solution of t right here, the homogeneous version. So at first we want to set dt dx plus 4 times t times x equal to 0. So just getting rid of this term right here. Solving this is quite easy, subtracting this thing on both sides and then dividing both sides by t. That also means we are going to end up with dt dx times 1 over t, let's put it here, being equal to negative 4 times x. And now we can integrate both sides with respect to x. And then we are already done with the complementary solution. So integrating both sides right here with respect to x is going to give us, on the one hand, this is just the natural log of t. You can introduce another proper substitution to get rid of all those dx's. That also means that we have the natural log of t being equal to, and this thing right here, what is this? Well, this is just going to evaluate to negative two times x squared plus some arbitrary constant c. And now we can exponentiate both sides, you could say, so that we get a solution for our t. That also means that we are going to end up with t, in this case complementary or homogeneous version, being equal to e to the negative two times x squared plus some arbitrary constant c, but we can use the exponential property to turn this into this thing times some other constant, e schlange, e snack. <laughs> okay, cool. And now, just like before, we would like to use um, variation of constants. That means we are going to multiply this complementary solution by some differentiable function of x, for example u of x, and then differentiate this thing to get a final expression for our u of x in the end. But what we can also do, we could absorb this constant right here into this function of x to get just another function of x. So why not just set, for simplification purposes, this e schlange to be a function of x. That makes things easier. Take a look into the theory videos to see where all of this comes from. And well, now we can just differentiate this thing right here. I'm just going to call t complementary t once again. So that means that t prime is nothing but. Now we ha have to use the product rule in this case. So at first we have e schlange prime of x times e to the negative 2x squared and then negative. And then we have four times x e to the negative 2x squared e schlange of x. And now we have an expression for our t and an expression for our t prime. So why not plug it into our differential equation and see if anything cancels out. 
So at first we have this thing right here. We have e Schlange prime e to negative 2x squared, negative 4x e to negative 2x squared, e Schlange of x. And then we have 4 times t times x. So that also means we are going to end up with this thing right here. So positive 4 times um, e to the negative 2x squared, e Schlange of x times x. And you might notice this and that is going to cancel out. And now being equal to 4 times x. Okay, I hope you can see where all of this came from. And well, now we can just solve for e prime, e Schlange prime. That also means I'm going to write it out once again. So we have e Schlange prime of x e to the negative 2 times x squared being equal to 4x. And now we can multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this function right here. It's never going to be equal to zero. That also means that e Schlange prime of x is nothing but, I'm going to put it here, 4 times x e to the 2 times x squared. And you see, we can get to our e Schlange of x, the regular function, the antiderivative of this thing if we just integrate with respect to x. So integrating both sides with respect to x. What are we going to get? Well, at first on this side we are going to have e Schlange of x plus some arbitrary constant c. We can bring it to the other side, blah, 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 as always. And on this side, well, what are we going to do? Well, we have to use integration by parts on this thing right here. Um, it's not easy to evaluate in a normal case, but this thing right here is actually a form that we can evaluate. So, um, no, let's introduce u substitution. u substitution is actually better. So, let u be equal to 2 times x squared. That also means that du is nothing but 4 times x dx. And you see, du is nothing but this thing right here. So we are going to end up with an integral of e to the u du, which is just going to be e to the u plus some arbitrary constant c. But what is e to the u? u is nothing but 2 times x squared. So this is actually e to the 2 times x squared plus some arbitrary constant c. And now we have an expression for e Schlange with respect to x. So this is actually quite good. And now we can plug it into our, um, it's up here actually, into our complementary solution. And then we have the general solution for our t. That also means that t general is nothing but y to the fourth power. Don't forget that we let t be equal to y to the fourth power. Being equal to, okay, now we have e to the negative 2x squared times e Schlange. But what is e Schlange? It's just this thing right here. e to the 2x squared plus some arbitrary constant c. This is going to evaluate to a 1. So this is just 1 plus c times e to the negative 2x squared. And what you can do, you can just take the square root now on both sides so that you end up with a positive or negative square root of this thing. And then take another square root so that you end up with four solutions where two solutions are imaginary. But never mind, this thing right here we can also interpret it as our solution. You are going to end up with four solutions in the end. You can just plug it into this differential equation and for all constants C it's going to solve this differential equation. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It's getting a bit more complicated, just a tiny little bit from time to time. But um, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and recommend me if you like. If you want to support me a bit more, link to my Patreon is in the description. I would highly appreciate some support from you guys doing all this stuff in my free time. You guys are awesome. And well, up until the next video, have a... Um, should I continue this game? Never mind, I will. However, why does the world need a new computer day? See ya.